It's a bye week for the Beavers women's hockey team, and it couldn't have come at a better time. After getting swept last week, the Beavers sit at 0-4 for the first time since 1998. The team was back at practice today with over a week to prepare for Minnesota Duluth. It's a long time to sit on their winless record, but at the same time it gives them a break to focus on their own game and improve on some of their early season weaknesses. Sitting here now, you know, now it's an opportunity to kind of hit the reset button and it'll be, it'll be kind of nice to work on some really specific things here this week prior to a, a game week going into Duluth. So, it, you know, we're going to take advantage of the of the bye week and, and uh, keep working on getting better. Bye weeks are obviously nice to give your body a break, but right now I think after um, getting swept twice, we definitely want to play and win a couple games here, but um, we obviously have a lot of things to work on, so I think this would be a good time to do that. Biggest area needing improvement right now is on the back end, as they've allowed 18 goals in their first four games. Small mistakes have led to big consequences, so they need to make sure they're always on alert. You know, you have a couple breakdowns in a game, like these past couple weekends here, and it's cost us, you know. No matter what kind of a team we're playing, there's a lot of great teams out there, and they're going to make us pay for it. So just focusing on the little things, com communicating, and, you know, blocking shots and playing beaver hockey is what we do best. So just kind of focusing on those things, and hopefully that will help us in the end. It's a lot of little things. It's positional things. You know, we... Uh, center got caught out of position. They weren't layered correctly, and that, that results in, in Providence getting a great opportunity and then scoring. So it's just it's little things like that that we just got to continue to work on, and, and uh, so we'll take full advantage this week to do just that. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.